Hello Apple Valley High School students. I'm going to help you uh, figure out how to do this circuit worksheet. And I'm going to go pretty quick so if you have to you can pause this video once uh, we're going. Alright for the first question we have to find a combined resistance of three resistors that are connected in series to each other. So I'm going to write it like this. The total is going to be R1 plus R2 plus R3 and since they're all 6 ohm resistors, I'll just have 6 ohms plus 6 ohms plus 6 ohms. So that'll be 18 ohms. And then I'll write that up for number 1. Okay, number 2. You have 3 resistors, the same 3, only this time they're in parallel. So I'm going to use the rule for adding resistors in parallel, where you have to add the reciprocal of the value and then take that reciprocal as well. So I'm writing the reciprocals of each resistor and then doing that to the minus one as well. When you do that you get two ohms. So make sure you practice this on your calculator. Alright, for number three we have to find the co combined resistance of two resistors of the three that are given in series. So they just want the 3 ohm and the 4 ohm resistor. So my total resistance, because they're in series, I just add them together. And when I do that, I get 3 ohms plus 4 ohms is equal to 7 ohms. Okay, now if you add all three of them, then we're just going to have uh, the 5 ohm resistor added to the first two. So the total will be then 3 ohms plus 4 ohms plus 5 ohms. So that will be equal to 12 ohms for that value, for that resistance. All right, next one. Now in five, we have two resistors that are in parallel with each other, which is pretty similar to what we had in number two. So my total resistance is going to be the reciprocal of each to the minus one power. So I have 60 ohms to the minus one plus 30 ohms to the minus one, all that to the minus one power. So when you do that, on your calculator, you'll get 20 ohms. Alright, now in 6 through 9, what we have to do is draw a circuit that has a battery. So my symbol for a battery is small, long, small, long. Small side is the plus side, the long... Er, small side is the negative side, the long side is the plus side of the battery. And then the current's going to come out of that side and then go through two resistors that are in series with each other. And then they tell us that the ammeter is hooked up to measure the current on the plus side. And then we also have a voltmeter too to measure the total voltage at the circuit. So that's what that should look like for the ammeter. And the voltmeter to measure current. All right, in the next one, we have two resistors that are in parallel with each other, and we have an ammeter to measure the total current. So I'm drawing my battery first, and it really doesn't matter where you put the ammeter because they just want the total current. So I could do it on the plus side or I could do it on the minus side. I'm going to do it on the plus side of the power supply. And then the total voltage would be across the power supply. And that voltage would be the same for either resistor. Okay, on to the next one. Our page. In this one we just have to draw the circuit. We don't have to do anything else. So. Um, we have a resistor that is in series with 
a battery, and then there's a combination in parallel with the resistor in series. So it's going to look something like this. And there are more than one way to draw circuits. I tend to draw them so you can see all the combinations. The circuit right below for 18 to 28 is actually the same type of circuit. Resistor 1 is the same as this one up here, and then resistor 2 is the same as this one. Resistor 3 is the same. So these are equivalent circuits. All right, down to 18 now. They want us to find the equivalent resistance for R2 and R3, which is the 4500 ohm and the 9000 ohm resistor. So they're in parallel. So I'm going to use the parallel rule for resistors. So it's 4500 ohms to the minus 1 plus 9000 ohms to the minus 1, all that to the minus 1 power. So I get 3000 ohms. Make sure you practice by putting that into the into your calculator. All right, next step. What I want to do here is find the total resistance. So now these two resistors, their equivalent resistance is in series with R1. So the total resistance is going to be R1 plus that combination 2 comma 3. So it's 1,000 ohms plus 3,000 ohms. And that's equal to 4,000 ohms for the total resistance of the circuit. All right, total voltage. Well, that's given. That's just the voltage of the battery, so that's 80 volts. And so I can put down 80 volts for the total resistance. You notice I'm writing proof for each step that I do. Okay, total current using Ohm's law is voltage divided by resistance. So we know the total voltage is 80, and the total resistance is 4,000 ohms. So that means the total current will be 0 0.02 amps. And that's also the current that's in the first resistor. So current comes out of here, it all has to go through this resistor. So that's the rule for currents in series. I1 equals I total equals 0 0.02 amps again. So it's the same as the total current. Now when it says voltage lost, voltage lost is just what's dropped off at this first resistor up here. So we can use Ohm's law to find that. So that's going to be 0 0.02 amps times 1000 ohms, so that's 20 volts. So that's the, what's dropped from the total of 80 volts in the circuit. So we start with 80, we drop 20 here, that means the rest is dropped across both of these. So for V2, for number 24, it's going to be the total voltage minus what's dropped off at the first resistor. So that's going to be 80 volts minus 20 volts, which is equal to 60 volts. And because these two are in parallel with each other, their voltage drops will be the same. So this is 60 volts, this will be 60 volts as well. Okay, so now we can find the current in this resistor because we know its voltage and we know its resistance. So I2 is equal to V2 over R2. V2 is 60 volts divided by R2 is 4500 ohms. And so that's equal to 0 0.013 amps. And like I said earlier, the voltage of this third resistor, because it's in parallel with the second one, their voltage drops are the same. So I can say that V2 equals V3 equals 60 
volts. So that's that voltage. And now we can find the current using Ohm's law. So current for that third resistor is the voltage of that resistor divided by its resistance. So it'll be 60 volts divided by 9,000 ohms and that's 0 0.006 repeating amps. And if you add this current in this one, it'll equal the total. So that's pretty cool. All right, last thing. What is V1 plus V2? Well, V1 is 20 ohms or 20 volts, and V2 is 60, and that equals 80. And so does this equal V1 plus V3? V1 is 20 plus V3 is 60. So they equal each other. So the answer is yes. And then is this the value of the voltage of the battery? Yep. That's the total voltage of that circuit. Okay, I'm going to pause it here and make one more video for the last problem on the back page because I will probably run out of uh, space to upload this. So this is part one. Part two is coming.